A police car should be fear-inducing or reassuring, depending on which side of the law you're on. These are the vehicles that put the hot in hot pursuit. The fastest police cars with tremendous speed that can speed over 180 miles per hour are employed to patrol the streets in cities all over the globe. In today's video, we'll talk about the top 10 fastest police cars in the world. Welcome to Nerdy's Top 10. Before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. Let's start. Number 10. Chevrolet Camaro SS Dubai Police UAE In May 2013, Dubai Patrol added a Chevy Camaro SS to its fleet of police cars, giving it speed and a stylish appearance. The UAE is the first nation in the Middle East to have a Camaro in its police enforcement fleet. The Camaro SS is the appropriate automobile for Dubai Police as we aim to improve our cars to match the Emirates' world-renowned standards in safety and security. According to Dubai Police Head Major General Kamis Matar El Mazeni, the supercar has a peak speed of 155 miles per hour and goes from 0 to 62 miles per hour, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 4.7 seconds. It has a 426 horsepower 6.2 liter V8 engine and was crowned Best Muscle Auto every year between 2009 and 2012 by local car publications. We are confident that the Camaro's ability to respond quickly thanks to its high-performance V8 engine, combined with its practical suitability for Dubai's roads and ease of maintenance, will make it an ideal patrol car for years to come," said Budi Saeed Al Gandhi, managing director of Al Gandhi Auto, GM's Dubai Chevy dealer partner. Number 9. Cadillac CTS-V Bloomfield Township Police Department, USA The Bloomfield Township Police Department has reached a deal with General Motors, thanks to local Sergeant Noel Klassen's particular connection with the automaker that permits cops to drive a range of sports vehicles on a temporary basis. In 2009, the Cadillac CTS-V displayed above was added to the Bloomfield Hills fleet. These elegant, high-performance cars are employed in parades, vintage car cruises, educational events, and to improve neighborhood police presence. Clayson adds, we're really community-oriented, and this is a terrific opportunity for us to communicate with our residents. The automobile has a 6.2-liter V8 engine with 556 horsepower, and can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds. Its peak speed, according to General Motors, is 163 miles per hour. The automobiles are returned to General Motors after around 30 days with the police department. Number 8. Lexus ISF – Humberside Police, UK This customized Lexus ISF was purchased by Humberside Police in Northern England in July 2009. Thanks to its 416 horsepower, 5.0-liter engine, the automobile can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour in 4.6 seconds, and reach a top speed of 168 miles per hour, 270 kilometers per hour. The Lexus has two high-tech radios, four cameras, and a computer platform that enables cops to access records in the National Police Database while on the go. Sergeant Mike Peck said that the supercar is mostly used as deterrence. The command vehicle of the fleet's vehicle crime unit, on the other hand, might be used to track down drug traffickers in high-powered sports cars, and it also has been utilized to recover illegal assets. According to Peck, the Lexus handles the added weight of computer equipment with ease, and it has exceptional braking and handling qualities, according to Humberside Police. Number 7. Spiker C8 Spider, Flevoland Police Department, Netherlands When this Spiker C8 Spider joined the police service in the Dutch region of Flevoland in October 2006, they must have been overjoyed and the truck, which is painted in the colors of the local police department and equipped with flashing police lights, is sure to have frightened the living daylights out of speed demons on Dutch highways. Spiker Cars, a Dutch sports car maker, handcrafted the vehicle, which is powered by an Audi 4.2 liter V8 engine with 400 horsepower. It has a peak speed of 187 miles per hour, 301 kilometers per hour, and can accelerate from 0 to 62, 100 kilometers per hour in 4.5 seconds. Although it's unclear if the Flevoland Police Department employed the supercar on high-speed chases or just showcased it at parades and other occasions, it would have given the agency a lot more credibility. Number 6. Audi R8 GTR – Polizei, Germany When the primary attraction is an Audi R8 GTR, police campaigns and events are certain to draw large audiences. The automobile was tuned by ABC Sports Line of Germany and debuted at the 2011 Essen Motor Show. Carbon fiber pieces were used to decrease weight as well as Recaro racing seats, a steel roll bar, and police lights, while the 5.2-liter V10 engine's horsepower was increased from 518 to 620. This supercar can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour, 
100 km per hour in only 3.2 seconds. And with a peak speed of 202 miles per hour, 325 km per hour, it may give fleeing criminals a run for their money. Additionally, despite the fact that it was just used for display, the Audi may have done more to promote safety and appropriate tuning procedures than a normal police vehicle would. Number 5. Lamborghini Gallardo LP564 Polizei di Stato, Italy Lamborghini presented the Italian State Police with a Lamborghini Gallardo in May 2004 to commemorate the organization's 152nd anniversary, and the Polizei received another one the following year. The State Police then got Lamborghini's most recent model, the Gallardo LP564 in 2008. The Lazio Highway Police Department employed the 2008 vehicle to beef up its presence on the country's highways. Accidents and crime prevention were high on the priority list, and rightly so. In 2008, 4,731 persons were killed in vehicle accidents in Italy, according to a 2009 report. The Gallardo LP564 accelerates from 0 to 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour in 3.7 seconds, and has a peak speed of 203 miles per hour, 327 kilometers per hour. It features a 5.2-liter V10 engine with 560 horsepower and is unquestionably a crime-fighting force to be reckoned with. A high-tech camera system, a defibrillator, and a refrigeration for transporting donated organs are all included in the automobiles. Unfortunately, in December 2009, a driver coming out of a gas station clipped one of the Lamborghini Gallardos, sending it crashing into a line of parked automobiles, causing it to crash and be written off. Number 4. Ferrari FF Dubai Police, UAE this Ferrari FF wasn't the first or the last supercar to join Dubai's police collection of crime-fighting cars. This Ferrari, on the other hand, is driven only by female cops. Dubai is a unique city, and everything in it should reflect its uniqueness, said Lt. Gen. Daki Kafan Tamim, explaining the decision to purchase the supercar. For that reason, police will add a Ferrari sports vehicle to its patrol fleet. The Ferrari, which joined the fleet in April 2013, has a top speed of 208 miles per hour. 335 kilometers per hour and can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour in under 3.7 seconds. The Ferrari was added only two weeks after Dubai police received the Lamborghini Aventador, see below. Both vehicles were purchased, according to Dubai police, to please key tourist spots and demonstrate tourists how classy the city is. Number 3. Lamborghini Aventador LP704 Dubai Police, UAE this Lamborghini Aventador LP704 was unveiled in April 2013 as the crown gem of Dubai Police's supercar-studded fleet of crime-fighting vehicles. This supercar has an official peak speed of 217 miles per hour, 349 kilometers per hour, and can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour, in under 2.9 seconds. While some speculate that the Aventador is intended to curb speeding, others argue that the supercar is only for show. Some have quipped that it's just a way to get new cops to join the force. And in a nation where, as one Emirati puts it, you are renowned for your automobile, whether its sheer appearance could actually deter crazy car speedsters seems improbable. Number 2. Dubai Police Aston Martin 177 UAE The Aston Martin 177 displayed above cost $2 million for Dubai Police in May 2013. The automobile is exceedingly uncommon, with just 77 examples known to exist in the world. The fact that this vehicle is one of just seven in the Q-Series adds to its rarity. It had a V12 engine with a displacement of 7.3 liters and a peak speed of 220 miles per hour, 354 kilometers per hour. Furthermore, it can accelerate from 0 to 60, 97 kilometers per hour in under 3.5 seconds. This supercar might be useful in reducing speeding. In the United Arab Emirates, illegal road racing, stunt driving, and a supercar culture have proven to be significant killers. In fact, one person is killed in a traffic collision in Abu Dhabi every 26 hours. Unfortunately, issuing speeding penalties doesn't seem to be a sufficient deterrence. Sarah al Kuwad, an Emirati motorist, claims she receives five speeding penalties per month, and it hasn't helped her slow down. In March 2013, Dubai Traffic Police announced that anybody over 124 miles per hour, 200 kilometers per hour, will face criminal charges. Number 1. Brabus Rocket Polizei, Germany at the 2006 Essen Motor Show in Germany, the Brabus CLS V12S rocket made its premiere. This magnificent Mercedes-Benz CLS class car is a delight to see and a beast on the road, decked out in full police regalia, complete with flashing lights and police insignia. The rocket, unfortunately for German cops, will not be patrolling the streets. 
The automobile became the face of German Secretary of Transportation Wolfgang Typhensee's Tune It Safe, the campaign, which aimed to encourage individuals to make safe and legal modifications to their vehicles. The Brabus racket comes up to its name, with a peak speed of 225 miles per hour, 362 kilometers per hour, and the capacity to accelerate from 0 to 62 100 kilometers per hour in 3.2 seconds. Although it would be much cooler to have this supercar out on German roads arresting bad guys, the $550,000 price tag, not including taxes, may make that difficult. As always, thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned for the next one.